You can face some serious consequences if you miss jury duty, like fines or even jail time. And there are scammers that hope you will fork up some money to stay out of handcuffs. Fox Size Andreana Shepard breaks down the red flags in this jury duty scam. Take a look at the comments on the Federal Trade Commission's alert about this jury duty scam. It's full of victims afraid that if they didn't give hundreds or thousands of dollars, police were ready to take them to jail. It starts with a call from someone claiming to be a police officer with a badge number, even a case number. They say you skipped jury duty and now there's a warrant out for your arrest. They'll waive that though for a fee. And if you don't pay, they're on their way to put you behind bars. It's a scam that's being presented to you. Henderson Police Sergeant Ryan Jappy says the scammers are even impersonating Henderson police officers. If you get this call, no matter how real and terrifying it all sounds, neither the police nor any other government agency will call you and demand that you send money right away. They won't ask for your social security number over the phone either. The fear of being contacted by a government agency is sometimes enough where um, the victim feels that pressure that they have to comply with what's being told to them. If you're worried this call is real, Jappy says take a breath, hang up and find the number for whatever agency the scammer claims to work for and call that one directly. A real government official would have no problem if you wanted to verify. If it's a scam, they're not going to let you hang up. They know if they keep you on the phone, they can keep feeding you information and that you're not going to have that moment of clarity where you can think that this isn't the right thing. Just like it's illegal to skip jury duty, it's also illegal to impersonate police and court officials. So if you get one of these calls, report it. Andriana Shepard, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.